All right, guys, so how many times have you been using your grinder and you looked at it and you thought, you know what, instead of a grinder, I wish this was a chainsaw. Guess what? Amazon has you covered. Amazon sells a kit so you can transform your grinder into a chainsaw. It's only $30. So what a time to be alive, huh? <laughs> so. Let's see how this thing works. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's see what we're getting for 30 bucks. I'm gonna assume probably not much. We're getting instructions, which I would usually throw away, but I might need those. A guard, probably don't need that. A bracelet for someone with a very small wrist. The choppy part handle, uh, some type of metal thing, uh, a bag of doodads and bobs, and that's it. So, hmm, let's see, I don't usually do this, but it is a chainsaw, so let's see what they say. Install the sprocket. Wait a minute. Okay, we got this piece. That has a square McBob in it. This is a bag of square bobs. So, common knowledge would tell me that these, one of these goes in there. This is kind of confusing, because one side of these directions show... We probably don't need that handle anyway. One side of these directions show, like, the whole thing being, like, taken apart. And then the other side show this thing just like sliding on. I would assume it just slides on to there. I think these are instructions for two separate kits because the one on the left side doesn't look anything like what I have. Any angle grinder can be refitted. All right, I think I have a slight grasp of what I'm doing. So we got the square, square bob. And we got all these square little doodads that I assume Probably go on to here. Okay, maybe not that one. Maybe this one. Okay. Pretty simple. Put the square doodad on there. And then it has to go in here. Let me guess. It'll fit on every angle grinder except for the one that I have. Wouldn't be surprised at all. Let's not, let's let's make sure this. Oh, okay. So this thing does work. Wow, it binds up really tight right there. I think we're gonna have to. Yeah, it's getting caught on this part. Looks like this should slide down farther on there. Unless maybe, maybe this is supposed to go here. Maybe that goes there, and then this goes on top of here. Oh, that slides in there. I mean, that right there kind of seems like that would be, you know, that would be it. And then this would go here. Oh, all right, awesome. So from what I can tell right here off the bat, it looks like this, this piece right here, is hitting this piece right here. And it looks like this, this little piece right here, is stopping this from being able to like actually, I mean, you can maybe do it at an angle, but still not really. It seems like this is kind of stopping this from being able to actually grasp onto this ring, which is the only thing that doesn't spin that it should be able to grasp a hold of which kind of sucks because the this and this are the two screw holes for the locking mechanism for the guard so if I like sacrifice these or cut these off in some way I'm not gonna have a guard anymore I guess we're just gonna have to do whatever we have to do all right guys so before we go any farther this video is sponsored by Manscaped Manscaped has finally created a beard care kit 
So, let's see what comes inside of it. First of all, you get a bottle of beard oil. You get a bottle of beard shampoo. You get some beard conditioner. So that's very nice. You get some beard balm. So this is for like styling your beard, if you're into that. You get a brush for your beard, a comb, a double-ended comb, and then of course you get the most important part, a beard trimmer. So this beard trimmer is really nice. It has a 7,500 RPM motor. It is quiet, of course, and it is of course rechargeable with a USB-C, something very important. And instead of a bunch of different guards that you change in and out, it just has one guard that you just turn this little lever and then you just select what height you want to trim at. So that is extremely nice and very useful. You're not going to lose all the all the guards and stuff. And then the last thing, and probably, oddly enough, probably my favorite part of the entire kit, because this is the way that I trim my beard, is you get a pair of Manscaped beard trimming scissors. And these are very nice. So if you're interested in any of this or anything else that Manscaped offers, you can go to manscaped.com, use code TUBE, and you'll get 20% off plus free shipping. So this part, this is probably going to get ugly. So if you're squeamish, I would look away. I'm going to attempt to see if I can dremel off these things. I'm going to try to cut this just a straight line here and then just try to cut it off here. I don't really know what else to do. I don't, this is my only grinder, so I don't have, I don't have a grinder for my grinder to grind these things off. Let's hope it's enough. That actually went a million times smoother than I thought it would. This should be a piece of cake. Let's take this thing off. We are going way deeper than what I, what I had anticipated. I think by the time I get done, I'm just gonna like leave this thing as a chainsaw. If you've never seen what the inside of a grinder looks like, it almost looks like uh, the inside of a differential. Let's go ahead and try to Do our cut down there. All right, well, there goes our little wheel. I mean, we actually made it through a lot a lot of that. I'm surprised that wheel didn't blow up uh, before then. Well, I found a little bit bigger wheel. That Maybe that'll help us. Maybe that'll hurt us. I think that is uh, almost right where we need to be. I didn't anticipate this to turn into a, an entire production. I'm not even gonna worry about putting the screws in there. I just wanna see if it fits. I'm an idiot. I don't need to put it in there. I can just put this here. And that would go probably like that. You know, I think I think we might actually be I'm gonna actually be getting somewhere. Now let's slide this. Yeah, back in there. And we'll start tightening these up. I don't think we need this. I'm gonna try to do this evenly on top and bottom. You know, it's better, but it's not, I don't feel completely comfortable with the way that it is. Okay, that's pretty tight. I wonder if we can, oh, it's not long enough. That'd be cool if we could use the original Milwaukee handle. So now we just screw this handle on. I 
Th I think it's on there tight. Now we have a grinder chainsaw. Let's see. I'm going to bump it. See if it... This part that we modified seems to fit in there pretty tight. The chain, I think, could be just a little bit looser. I mean, a little bit tighter. You're gonna have to, I know there's a lot of you probably screaming at your, at the video right now. I have very limited experience with chainsaws, but I think we have it. Tighten that down. I don't feel like that's, that's probably just about right. From my non-professional experience, now I think we just gotta add a little bit of oil to the reservoir. Man, that chain loosens up quick. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. I don't know. Let's put the guard on. All right, here we go. We are done. That is a full grinder chainsaw. So let's, uh, I'm going to put some oil in this. Let's find something to cut. Buy my merch. There's a link in the description. There's t-shirts, hoodies, and hats, and they're very nice. All right, so as a uh, first cut, we're gonna cut a four by four. I just hope this thing stays together, to be honest with you. That'd be great. I did put uh, some oil in there. I'm gonna... I honestly don't know if the oil's getting in there or not. All right, well, what a beautiful start. I have a feeling that is gonna be a reoccurring theme. So I've retightened this thing. I moved the clamp. You can kind of see now, everything is kind of like at a, at a different angle because I feel like I was able to get a better bite on it uh, this way. And actually, now that I look at it, now that I look at it, I also, I don't know. <laughs> it might vibrate off again, we'll see. Yeah, I think I don't think we're gonna make it through even one cut. I think it's just gonna vibrate off. <clears throat> we'll see. Three, two, one. Are you kidding me? Does it go up too? I am genuinely speechless. I, I don't even know what to say. That was perfect. What I expected to happen was, I expected to make it about maybe a quarter of the way through this, the vibration would knock it off, and we'd be right back where we started. Now, if we do enough cuts, I'm sure it probably will vibrate loose. But that, I mean, as it's working right now, that is like butter. That's perfect. All right, so since that worked so good, Let's compare it against a regular electric chainsaw. I, 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 I honestly feel like it's going to be about the same. I feel like that took longer. There's going to be a timer on the screen. We're going to time how fast I can cut through with this thing and then this one. All right. Three, two, one. Okay. Three, Two, one. I think that's quicker. I genuinely do. I kind of, kind of messed up on the end, so I'll, I'll do it again just to make sure it's fair. Three, two, one. That is a hundred percent quicker. That is crazy. Again, I, I'm genuinely speechless. I did not expect that to be that good. That is crazy. So I gotta, I gotta try this again. This just blows my mind that this is so smooth. It's all, I almost feel like I'm in a dream or something. Like I just can't believe this is operating this smoothly. That, okay, that just, 
That just blows my mind. Let's try it on some other types of wood. So let's try this thing now on an actual like piece of tree branch. And it just so happens we have a nice knot right here. So that'll be a perfect test. This is, you know, probably about what this thing is made for. You know, it's only a 12 inch bar. Something about this size is what you're gonna use something like this for. Let's go. All right. And just like that, everything good I said about it is all thrown right in the garbage. Man, that sucks. Because it was doing so good. Seems like you're going to get three or four cuts, maybe five, and then this thing is going to vibrate loose and separate itself off. So I was able to get this back on here, but the clamp, the metal is so cheap, the clamp is starting to bend very badly. So... I think if we can just get uh, a couple more cuts out of this without it separating again, I'll be extremely impressed because this clamp is uh, on its last leg. So let's go ahead and see if we can finish this cut. All right, well, or not. <laughs> this clamp right here is for one, it's kind of like a weird shape, so it doesn't really grasp onto the grinder to begin with. But two, it's such a cheap metal that it just like kind of bends. And then now, once we've, you know, it's fallen off, it's fallen off. I've tried to t make it a little bit tighter so it stays on, and then that bent it a little bit, so then it slides off even easier. And then that just kind of creates this problem where now you just can't really get a grip onto the grinder. That sucks because I feel like this thing right here, as a whole, wow, the chain's really loose too. I feel like this as a whole is like on the cusp of something great. I feel like this could be really good. And I'm honestly kind of surprised, unless it's out there and I just don't know about it, I'm surprised that one of these tool manufacturers, you know, Milwaukee, DeWalt, haven't come up with like this type of a thing for grinders, but with some type of like quick connect device or something. Because I feel like that could be great. Because this thing is, you know, all cheap Chinese. And if it just had a better connection, it would work great. So I guarantee one of these big companies can make something like this that will work a hundred times better. This one, unfortunately, is not. And maybe it could just be the grinder. Because I did have to cut the things off of it. it may, maybe it's not the right shape. Or maybe if you had one that had like a, lo a longer, like, I don't know, barrel here or something that it could grab, uh, like grasp onto. I'm really surprised this thing did do as good as it does whenever it is working good. But for long term, it's just not really going to hold up. So aside from this, I have one more thing that can turn your grinder into a chainsaw. And we'll try that one out. So the second option that you have to turn your grinder into a chainsaw is one of these. <laughs> this is essentially just a grinding disc that has had chainsaw teeth attached to a grinding disc. And then on top of that, the teeth, if you look at them, oh, maybe like right here, they're not even all tight. So I don't know how dangerous this is. It was cheap. I think it was like five bucks for one of these. I'm going all out. For this for this one this one kind of this one honestly kind of freaks me out so i'm putting on gloves i'm doing safety glasses i'm doing the whole the whole deal the thing the problem with this is you don't really have that much like that you can cut you know until you bump into the side of this thing maybe like an inch or something so like whatever you're going to cut it's not going to be very much let's hope one of these teeth doesn't fly off I mean, it cut into it, but I mean, you can only cut into there maybe like an inch deep before you start uh, before you start hitting the side of the grinder. So I don't really know like what this would be used for. Maybe very small stuff. Maybe.
Okay, I could see maybe like if you wanted to use it kind of, I mean, I guess essentially like a grinder, but for wood. That seems like it would work pretty decent. I don't really know what exactly you would need to use that for, but it works. Uh, let's try it on some smaller stuff, because I have a feeling that's probably what it's meant for, like, you know, trim it up, maybe like little bushes, little tiny trees or something. So something about this size is what I feel like you would use this for, because, I mean, this is just like a little branch or something. Let's see if it can handle this. That's actually perfect. Way more than perfect. That, I mean, that's, that's actually probably exactly what it's designed for. Um, maybe if you, if you don't have like little hedge trimmers or something, but you got a grinder, there you go. You can trim, trim your little tiny trees or little bushes or whatever. All right, so the last thing we're gonna try, we're just gonna try to cut a two by four. Just <laughs> I did not mean to do that. I mean, I completely meant to do that. That chews through a two by four fast. So you, you can't get through it all the way, but it'll chew through it quickly. That is crazy. I probably should have put the handle on that. You can do that with it. I don't know what uh, what purpose you could possibly have to do that. But, uh, so, that's pretty much it. Those are pretty much the only two options that you have for uh, turning a grinder into a chainsaw, at least that I could find. If there's more, let me know in the comments. I'll test those out. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.